Have you ever wondered if time travel is possible? And if it is, could it also mean that parallel universes exist, the idea that we could travel through time and in doing so step into alternate realities sounds like something out of a sci-fi movie? But what if I told you that science is beginning to suggest that this might actually be possible and it's a door to a parallel universe? Let me take you back to a conversation I had with my dad, who was a scientist. He worked on projects that were so secretive he could hardly talk about them. But one night, and after a few too many drinks, he let something slip that changed the way I think about time and reality forever. Time isn't as straightforward as people think, he said, leaning in close as if he was about to reveal a great conspiracy. What if I told you that time travel might not just involve moving backward or forward in our own timeline? What if in traveling through time you could end up in a different version of reality altogether? A parallel universe where things have played out differently? I stared at him, both intrigued and skeptical. Are you saying that time travel and parallel universes are connected? He nodded, his expression serious. The two might be more linked than we've ever imagined. And I've seen some things in my work that suggest we're closer to understanding this than the public knows. To understand how time travel and parallel universes could be connected, we first need to dive into the science of time itself. Time, as we experience it, seems to move in a linear fashion, past, present and future. But according to Einstein's theory of relativity, time isn't as rigid as it appears. Time is more like a river that can bend, stretch and even loop back on itself under certain conditions. This means that theoretically time travel could be possible if we could manipulate the fabric of space-time. One of the most popular theories about time travel involves wormholes shortcuts through space-time that could, in theory, connect distant points in space and time. If such wormholes exist, they could potentially allow someone to travel from one point in time to another, bypassing the intervening moments. But here's where it gets interesting. Some physicists believe that traveling through a wormhole might not just take you to a different time, but could also take you to a different universe altogether. The idea is that our universe is just one of many, an infinite number of parallel universes that exist simultaneously, each with its own version of reality. These parallel universes could differ from ours in small ways, like what you ate for breakfast this morning, or in massive ways, like who won the last world war or whether humans even exist. If you were to travel back in time and change something, you might not just alter your own timeline, you could create a new branching timeline in a parallel universe. This concept is tied to the many worlds interpretation of quantum mechanics, which suggests that every possible outcome of a quantum event actually occurs, each in its own separate universe. So, if time travel is possible, it might involve more than just visiting the past or future of our own universe. It could involve jumping between different parallel universes, each with its own version of events. Growing up, I always knew my dad's work was important, but it wasn't until that night that I realized just how deep the rabbit hole went. He worked for a government agency that dealt with advanced physics research. And while he was usually tight-lipped about his job, that night he seemed almost eager to share. There are things we're discovering, he said, things that are beyond what the public can even begin to comprehend. We've been experimenting with quantum entanglement, trying to understand the nature of time and how it connects to different states of reality. And let me tell you, the results are unsettling. He paused as if weighing whether to continue. We've seen evidence that time isn't a straight line. It's more like a web with different strands representing different possible outcomes. Sometimes these strands intersect and when they do, strange things can happen. People experience deja vu or they have premonitions or they see things that shouldn't be possible. I listened, captivated, as he described experiments that seem straight out of a science fiction novel. 
There were reports of scientists who claimed they had seen glimpses of other worlds, parallel universes, while working with advanced quantum devices. Some even claimed to have experienced time differently, as if they were momentarily displaced from our timeline. But here's the kicker, my dad said, lowering his voice. We found that in some cases, when we try to manipulate time at the quantum level, we don't just affect our own timeline. We can potentially create new ones, new universes. And that's where it gets dangerous, because if you're not careful, you could end up somewhere entirely different from where you started. His words left me with more questions than answers. Could it really be that time travel isn't just about moving through our own timeline, but also about navigating the multiverse? And if so, what are the implications for us? Could we one day learn to travel not just through time, but across different realities? While the concept of time travel and parallel universes might sound far-fetched, there have been numerous accounts of people experiencing what could be described as time slips, moments where they suddenly find themselves in a different time or place, only to be pulled back to their original timeline moments later. One famous case is that of Sir Victor Goddard, a British Royal Air Force officer who in 1935 reported flying over an abandoned airfield in Drem, Scotland. As he flew over, he suddenly found himself in what seemed to be a fully operational airbase, complete with yellow painted planes and mechanics dressed in blue overalls, something that was completely unheard of at the time. Moments later, the airfield reverted back to its abandoned state. Years later, the airbase did indeed reopen with yellow planes and blue overalls becoming standard. Another intriguing account comes from a woman in Spain who, while walking through a busy street in the 1990s, suddenly found herself in a quiet, cobblestoned alley that she had never seen before. The people around her were dressed in clothing from the 1800s, and the shops displayed goods from a bygone era. Confused and frightened, she quickly retraced her steps and found herself back in the modern-day street. She later discovered that the alley she had walked through had existed centuries earlier, but had been destroyed long before her time. Then there are the cases of individuals who seem to have no logical explanation for their origins. People who have been found with knowledge or items from times that they shouldn't have had access to. One such case is that of the man from Tored, a mysterious figure who appeared at a Japanese airport in the 1950s. The man claimed to be from a country called Tored, which he insisted was located between France and Spain. However, no such country existed. The man was detained for further questioning, but when authorities went to check on him the next day, he had vanished without a trace along with all of his belongings. Another case involves Andrew Carlson, a man who was reportedly arrested in 2003 for insider trading after he turned $800 into $350 million in just two weeks on the stock market. During interrogation, Carlson claimed to be a time traveler from the year 2256, explaining that his knowledge of future events had allowed him to make such accurate stock predictions. Though the story was widely circulated, it remains unclear whether it was a hoax or if there was some truth to his incredible claims. These stories, along with many others like them, raise the possibility that time travel might not be as far-fetched as it seems. Could it be that these individuals momentarily slipped into a parallel universe where time had played out differently? Or perhaps they encountered a brief overlap between timelines, where different realities converged for just a moment. The science behind all this is still in its infancy, but the implications are staggering. If time travel and parallel universes are connected, it could mean that every decision we make creates a new branch of reality a new universe where the outcome of that decision plays out differently. It could mean that every what-if scenario you've ever imagined is actually happening somewhere in a parallel universe that you might be able to visit one day. 
but it also raises important ethical questions. If we can travel through time and access parallel universes, what responsibilities do we have? How do we ensure that we, we don't cause harm to these alternate realities? And what happens if someone from a parallel universe travels to our timeline? Could they change our reality in ways we can't predict? My dad's revelations opened my eyes to the incredible possibilities and dangers of time travel and parallel universes. It's a field of study that's still shrouded in mystery, but one thing is clear. We're only just beginning to understand the true nature of time and reality. And as we continue to explore these frontiers, we may find that the lines between past, present, future and parallel worlds are far blurrier than we ever imagined. So now, I'm curious, what do you think? Do you believe that time travel and parallel universes are connected? Have you ever experienced something that made you question the nature of reality, like deja vu, a premonition, or a strange encounter with time? I'd love to hear your thoughts and stories. Let's explore this mystery together.